हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिकल साइंस डिजिटल क्लासेस महबूबाबाद माई सेल्फ नरेंद्र बाबू कोटला पीजीडी केमिस्ट्री टीएसएमएस महबूबाबाद टुडे रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट एट करूड सरफेसेस क्लास टेन पार्ट फोर इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रूल्स फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग इमेजेस फॉर्मड बाई कॉन्वेक्स एंड कॉन्केव लेंसेज एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इमेजेस बाई कॉन्वेक्स लेंसेज फर्स्ट रूल्स फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग इमेजेस फॉर्मड बाई कॉन्वेक्स एंड कॉन्केव लेंसेज सो फॉर ड्रॉइंग रे डायग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू लेंस वी रिप्रेजेंट द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस एंड कॉन्केव लेंस विद द फॉलोइंग सिम्बल्स बट फॉर ड्रॉइंग रे डायग्राम्स रिलेटेड टू द लेंस वी रिप्रेजेंट लेंसेज ऑफ द कॉन्केव एंड कॉन्वेक्स सो एज द फॉलोइंग सिम्बल्स वी कैन so use this symbol for convex lens and for concave lens this is the symbol so now on words if we want to represent the convex lens we have to use this symbol and if you representing the this symbol that means that is the concave lens like a concave and convex mirrors for the convex and concave lenses also so there are four rules and out of these four rules we can use any two rules for these ray diagrams to draw ray diagrams in that the first rule is ray of light which is passing along the principal axis is undeviated that means goes straight after refraction through the lens if any one of the ray of light which is passing along the principal axis is undeviated so if any one of the so ray of light if it is passing through the principal axis without any deviation it moves in so straight after refraction through the lens so if light ray passing through the principal axis it without any deviation so it moves in straight both this uh, rule can be applicable for both the convex and concave lenses also for this concave lens also if the ray of light passing through the principal axis so then uh, without any deviation it moves in the same direction this is the rule 1 rule 2 ray of light which is passing through the optic center of a lens goes straight after refraction through the lens if any one of the light ray if it passes through the optic center this is the optic center if light ray passing through this optic center okay so then without any deviation it moves in straight after refraction through the lens this is for con convex lens and this is same can be applicable to the concave lens also so if any one of the light ray passing through the optic center without any deviation it moves in a straight line okay these two rules are same for concave and convex lens rule 3 ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis of a lens converge at the focus or appear to diverge from the focus ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis of a lens converge at the focus or appear to diverge from the focus let us see the rule so for convex lens if any one of the ray of light parallel to the principal axis now the ray of light is moving parallel to the principal axis after refraction the ray of light converges at the focus that means it passes through the focus after refraction this ray passes through the focus for the convex lens if a ray of light passing parallel to the principal axis so then after refraction that passes through the focus that means it converge at the focus and let us see what happens to the concave lens if a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it diverges but appear to diverge from a focus appear to diverge from the focus and after refraction it diverges but uh, this light ray appear to diverge from the focus so for the concave lens if any one of the light ray passing parallel to the principal axis that diverges that means appear to diverge from the focus this is for concave lens rule 4 a ray of light which is passing through the focus or appear to passing through 
focus of your lens becomes parallel to its principal axis after refraction through the lens. If ray is passing through the focus, so after refraction becomes parallel to the principal axis. After refraction, so this ray becomes parallel to this principal axis. This is for convex lens. So what happens to this concave lens we will see. For concave lens, a ray of light appear to passing through the focus of your lens. See, this ray of light appear to passing through the focus of this lens. Okay, that's why after refraction, this ray passes parallel to the principal axis. Let us see whether it is, uh, so appear to passing through the focus or not. See, this ray is appear to passing through the focus. That's why after refraction, this ray uh, moves or passing parallel to the principal axis. But so these four rules, uh, so applicable to both the convex and concave lenses. Now, formation of different types of images by convex lens. Types of images formed by a convex lens depends on the position of the object in front of the lens. So what type of the image formed by a convex lens that depends on the so position of the object where the object placed in front of the lens and we can place the object at a different positions means different distances from a convex lens to get different types of images. So let us see by placing the object at different places in front of the convex lens how the image it forms and what are the characteristics of the image we will see object placed between the optical center and focus if you place the object between so this is the optical center and this is the focus if you place the object between the optical center and focus then what happens we will see let us take the object between the optical center and the focus now from the object at the tip of the object the light rays are incidenting on the convex lens let us take the two rays from the four rules okay so now a light ray parallel to the principal axis incident on this convex lens after refraction this light ray converges to the through the focus okay are passing through the focus okay this is the first ray so let me take one more ray. This ray is passing through the optical center. And if any one of the ray passing through the optical center without any deviation, that ray passes straight. So right side of these two rays after refraction and they will not meet at any point. They will not intersect at any point. That's why if you extend these two rays back, so they meet at the point in front of the convex lens. So at this point, these two rays meet at the point. So at this point, the image will form. Okay, the image it forms in front of the convex lens. So the image formed is behind the object. If you observe, this is the object behind the object, the image is forming. That means in front of the convex lens, the image is formed. Next, the image is virtual and erect. The image type is virtual and erect. And the image is larger than the object. If you observe, the image size is larger than the object. Okay. So that's why magnified image. It forms the magnified image. If you place the object between the optic center or optical center and the focus, then it forms the image. So behind the object, on the same side of the lens. Okay. And... The image is virtual and erect image, okay? And the image is larger than the object that is magnified. Number two, object placed at focus. Let us take the convex lens. So in this convex lens, so place the object at focus. Now, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis incident on the convex lens and after refraction, it passes through the focus. And one more ray, which is passing through the optic center or optical center without any deviation it passes in straight okay right so these two rays never intersect at any point these two rays never intersect at any point so that's why so the image that forms at infinity 
the image formed is that is at infinity and the image is real and inverted the image type is real and inverted and the image is highly enlarged the image type is highly enlarged if you place the object at focus then the image formed at infinity the image nature is real and inverted and highly enlarged image it forms third one object placed between the center of curvature c2 and focal point f2 if you take the convex lens object if you place between the f2 and c2 okay between these two if you place the object if you place the object between f2 and c2 the rays which are parallel to the principal axis incident on convex lens and after refraction this ray passes through the focus and one more light ray is passing through the optical center one more light ray passing through the optical center okay without any deviation it moves in straight line and while it is moving it intersect with the first ray so where it intersect with the first ray and it forms the image at this point okay it forms the image at this point the image formed is beyond the c c1 beyond the c1 if you place the object between f2 and c2 the image formed beyond the c1 so beyond the c1 and the image is real and inverted the image type is inverted and real image and the image is larger than the object if you see the image is larger than the object and this is magnified too the image is larger than the object and magnified fourth one object placed at the center of curvature c2 take the convex lens if you place the object at c2 right now the rays are coming from the this object which are parallel to the principal axis so it incidents on the convex lens after incidenting so they moves through the focus one more light ray which is passing through the optical center and without any deviation it passes through this and intersect at a point it forms the image and the image that forms at c1 if you place the object at c2 the image that forms at c1 the image formed is at c1 the image type is real and inverted the image is the same size as object fifth one object placed beyond the center of curvature if you take the convex lens if you place the object beyond the center of curvature beyond the c so let us take the object here beyond the c now so the rays which are coming from the object and if the, those rays are parallel to the principal axis and incident on the convex lens and after refraction and that ray passing through the focus one more light ray that is passing through the optical center and without any deviation it moves in straight line and meets the first ray or intersect the first ray so at this point it forms the image and that point is between so that means the image that forms between the f1 and c1 if you place the object beyond the c2 then it forms the image between c1 and f1 the image formed is between f1 and c1 so the image type is real and inverted so the image is smaller than the object that means diminished image that forms if you place the object beyond the c2 the image forms between the f1 and c1 the image type is real and inverted image the image is smaller than the object means diminished image it forms last one object at infinity if you place the object at infinity what happens we will see so object is at infinity that's why we are unable to show the object in this uh, picture but uh, rays are coming from only far distance okay and these rays are parallel rays from top point of the distant object is coming here okay and uh, one ray is uh, so similarly passing uh, so like this and after refraction 
So this ray is passes like this and after refraction simply it passes through the focus or converges at the focus and one more ray that is passing through the optic center without any deviation it moves in straight line. But these two rays meets at the F means focal point. Okay. So at this point it forms the image. The image is a very diminished image. The image formed is at the focus the real and inverted image forms and much smaller than the object means highly diminished image that forms. If you place the object at infinity the image that forms at focus. Let us take the overview here. So if you place the object where the image forms, what is the size of the image and what is the nature of the image we will see. So first one, so within the focus optic center and F2. Then image that forms the same side of the object behind the object the image is enlarged which is called as magnified and the nature of the image is virtual and erect. Second one if you place the object at focus F2 so the image that forms at infinity the image is highly enlarged and the nature of the image is real and inverted. If you place the object between F2 focal point and the C2 center of curvature the image that forms beyond the C1 the image size is enlarged and nature of the image is real and inverted. If you place the object at C2 center of curvature image that forms at C1 the image size is same as that of the object nature of the image is real and inverted. If you place the object beyond C2, the image that forms between F1 and C1, between the focal point and the center of curvature, the image forms. The image is diminished and nature is real and inverted. Last one, if you place the object at infinity, the image that forms at focus F1 and the image is highly diminished and the nature of the image is real and inverted. So these are the different types of the images that forms if you place the object at different places or different positions. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.